Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today what we're going to be talking about is my kind of wish list for the new Harmony Trailblazer that's either coming in patch 2.2 or 2.3. If it's coming in 2.2, I believe they actually, you know, did a crappy job in the special program of 2.2 of showing what the Harmony Trailblazer is all about. It was just mentioned that we're getting a Harmony Trailblazer, but we didn't see any gameplay footage or anything like that like we did of Robin and Boot Hill, and we didn't see, like, get an explanation of what the kit is going to be, so I feel like I still have some time to kind of make this video. Whether we're going to get in 2.2 or 2.3, it doesn't really matter that much, but, uh, yeah. So, what I have been kind of hoping is that they release Harmony Trailblazer with 5-star quality, not 4-star quality. And at least 5-star quality once you get it to E6, because... Just, you know, in the theme of Trailblazers, we will get, through completing things in the main quest line, we will eventually get our Harmony MC to E6. So I don't think it should release E0 at an insane 5 star quality competing with Sparkle, Bronya, and Ruan Mei, um, and even Ting Yun, secret 5 star. Um, and then also you E6 it, and then you just base roll the entire game. I think at E6, it should probably be E0 level in terms of, uh, in terms of like five stars. Uh, and the reason I think that is because, you know, maybe this is dumb and out of touch by me. I'm kind of looking at my notes here because I did write this down because I wanted to make sure that I conveyed all my thoughts correctly. You know, maybe this is dumb and out of touch by me, but, uh, the average player reaches this point at, by the time the average player reaches this point in Pentacony, I would assume that they've been playing the game for a while um and they probably either have or are in the process of transitioning off their free to play uh four stars such as march don hung natasha uh serval etc um and on top of that they might even you know most i don't know if most likely but hopefully they at least hold for a copy of either ruan may or sparkle or they maybe they got to their 300 pulls and if they didn't get a Bronya in you know that time after losing 50 50s or um just through the standard banner hopefully they picked Bronya if they never got it through that uh from their 300 pull on the standard banner selector um but yeah so by the time you get to Panacone my point is that you're probably done using like the, the free to play uh, slosh that they kind of give you. Um, honestly, like those characters were really good at the start of the game, but obviously, just like most of the characters and even some five stars, they've been heavily outscaled. Okay. Um, probably, I, I would say, out of March, Don Hong, Natasha, and Serval, Serval is probably still the most playable out of them, but like, you know, just Jing Yuan, you know what I'm saying? Just get an Acker on, you know what I'm saying? Um, just get a Kafka. There, there's many, there's many more better ways to uh, do some lightning damage. Anyway, uh, the other um, the other two main characters, in my opinion, had an excuse to be kind of poo poo four star quality because you get them earlier. Uh, you get them much earlier in your play time. Um, you get them. You complete the the harmony, not the harmony. You complete the physical trailblazer and Bellabog. And Bellabog is hella early game, and then you get to Luafu, and that storyline actually takes quite a while, uh, getting through the Luafu. Um, that's where probably a bulk of most players' playtime is going to be, because I feel like it just lasted, we, we were just there for so long, maybe in my opinion a little too long. Um, the designs of the characters, not that they were bad ever. But they did start getting a little stale with like kind of the same theming of the Luafu. So it was it was obviously a big relief whenever we moved to Pentacony. Um uh, I don't know why I brought up designs of characters is kind of random, but that aside, uh we got the Fire Trailblazer in there, and it actually was pretty good. But the problem with uh Fire Trailblazer is most of the time, if you have an adventuring, you have a uh Japard, you have a Luocha, a Huohuo, a Ushuan, um, 
you know, these other sustains, even a Gallagher, I would say is probably a better option. And if you're going Harmony Trailblazer just for, or if you're going Fire Trailblazer, just because maybe it places debuffs and it works well with Acheron or something like that. Let's say a, a newer player pulled for Acheron to be their huge DPS and they're playing Fire Trailblazer with that character. Honestly, Gallagher is probably an even better choice, uh, depending on whether or not you have the, the four-star Topaz Lycone. Um, but anyway, what I'm saying is the four-star Trailblazers, uh, both of the, the physical and the fire Trailblazers have been heavily outscaled by the game. Let me just pull up my, uh, my tier list real quick. Um, so I have fire Trailblazer at the top of C tier, and then I have physical Trailblazer as the second worst character in the game. And honestly, like, you know, all these characters in F, you could kind of move them around. Um, the only exception is maybe Serval, who I should move up to, like, E tier at least. Um, but yeah. I mean, like, these characters are not keeping up. Uh, if you have just about, you know, you can look at where they are and then see, okay, I have Physical Trailblazer, but why would I use Physical Trailblazer when Luka would outperform? In my opinion, Shusheng outperforms. Um... Boot Hill will definitely outperform by miles. Uh, Argenti, of course, outperforms. Clara, miles ahead, outperforms. I'm just listing the uh, the other physical DPS characters. Um, her, uh, physical Trailblazer is not keeping up, is not doing well. Um, not at all, right? And then if you use the Fire Trailblazer, I already listed pretty much every sustained character. Every sustained character above them you could replace with the Fire Trailblazer, and that would probably be a good move, because that character is honestly not great. There are some redeeming qualities, of course, but the shields are small. The, just overall, every other sustain besides maybe Bayou and Natasha can do it better. Okay? So, also, also, so, so that's why I believe that the, uh, you know, the Harmony Trailblazer should hopefully, at least at max Eidolons, once we get it there, be a five-star quality character. Like, I think it should be, or, or at least have some kind of unique mechanic that genuinely makes us choose, uh, okay, do I, gonna, do I wanna go Sparkle, Baronia, Ruan Mei, Ting Yun, or Harmony Trailblazer? If Harmony Trailblazer is even moderately in the conversation, I think we have won as a player base. It's also very free to play friendly to have your main character be at least generally okay. And, you know, on top of that, maybe it doesn't have to be nearly on the level of Sparkle or Ruan Mei, but at least compete with Bronya, who's on the standard banner, um, or at least compete with Ting Yun, who is just a regular four star in the game. Um, yeah. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Uh, it just seems weird. It just feels weird. That every, like every, this is supposed to be your main character. This is supposed to be you, all right? Everyone wants to feel strong, okay? At, like, I feel like it's kind of weird that the main character, the character that the player is supposed to be in the story, is a massive afterthought in just about every situation in the other two forms. So I hope that they kind of um, correct the train here. In with the Harmony Trailblazer. Plus, Harmony, very diverse class. You can just simply add maybe a buffing mechanic that other Harmonies don't have, and all of a sudden, you have a place in, in like, a few niche situations that you're just straight up better than other people. Like, if there's a big crit rate buff, um, if... I don't know, there's, like, a larger-than-Asta speed buff, but, like, maybe it's, like, on a single target. I don't know. There's a lot of things you could do to, like, put the character into a niche and at least have it perform there. All right, now that I yapped about that, um, I'm going to talk about why I hope it just works well with free-to-play light cones. I think it would just be weird if it didn't, if I'm being honest. Like, because it is a free-to-play character, I think that there should just... There should definitely be free-to-play options for 
the Harmony Trailblazer to work well with. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's really all I have to say about that. There is really nothing more that I that I have to say or feel like I want to say about that. Um, yeah, if, if it doesn't work well with free to play options, um. That would be really weird, considering, you know, it's basically a free-to-play character. Everybody gets it. Alright, and then, uh, yeah, I already said the last thing in my notes, just to add maybe a new mechanic that makes them unique in a specific niche, so maybe they're not directly better than the other really strong Harmony characters in the game, but they are better than those specific harmony char than those other harmony characters in like one specific niche or like one or two specific situations and then that can add longevity to the character and a reason to use it if you play you know a comp or you have a build that works really well with it so that's my whole spiel um i did a lot of yapping this was just a yapping video um i just wanted to yeah talk about my thoughts on the upcoming harmony trailblazer and what i would like to see from it and hopefully you guys agree and uh i you know my yapping uh is good yeah so peace uh thank you all for watching subscribe